Dave Chappelle obviously has been the talk of the town. His Netflix special came out. People were very upset with Dave Chappelle about the things he's done, said, how he's continuously, in their words, punched down on the trans community. And, you know, people don't really like it. So Dave Chappelle put out like a little five-minute clip on his Instagram explaining what has been going on since the release of his special and tried to, and he, he did not try to promote this documentary that he filmed during the pandemic when he was doing those shows out in Ohio. So I want to play this clip. It's about a minute and 45 seconds. So take a listen to... The GOAT, Dave Chappelle. This film that I made was invited to every film festival in the United States, and some of those invitations I accepted. And when this controversy came out about the close-up, they began disinviting me from these film festivals. And now, today, not a film company, not a movie studio, not a film festival, nobody will touch this film. Thank God for Ted Sarandos and Netflix. He's the only one that didn't cancel me yet. <laughs> to the transgender community, I am more than willing to give you an audience, but you will not summon me. I am not bending to anybody's demands. And if you want to meet with me, I'd be more than willing to, but I have some conditions. <laughs> First of all, you cannot come if you have not watched my special from beginning to end. You must come to a place of my choosing and a time of my choosing. And thirdly, you must admit that Hannah Gatsby is not funny. So that was Dave's whole thing right now. Some people are, are criticizing Dave. They're saying he looks like the old man on the porch screaming out to the new kids on the block, mad about whatever. But I understand if you feel like you did something not to be hateful, just doing your crab, just doing jokes, and a community took offense to it. And then, then this community goes to the extent to take you off the air, which could potentially take food out of your family's mouth. This completely destroy you, right? Pretty much what he said in the special happens to people when it comes to any kind of critique, comedy, whatever, of a certain community. That, that, that just proves the point. That's what's happening to Dave Chappelle, right? So I was surprised by this because I did not know that he was in some way actually being canceled, but silently, because we don't know about film festivals, right? We don't care about film festivals, who's going to show this, Austin Film Festival, Cannes, whatever. We don't like, we don't care about that. Just put the film festival out, watch the movie, and then somebody will buy it, and then we'll get to see it in theaters or Netflix or Amazon or whatever, right? So that's surprising to me. I don't know if it's true, but it's surprising. I don't think Dave Chappelle would lie about that, but I'm just saying, it's surprising to me because... I say this over and over again. Yeah, there's a controversy around Dave Chappelle, right? But just look at the landscape. Look at what's going on outside. People are still rushing to watch him, spend money with him, obviously, at these shows with him and Joe Rogan. And now he's doing this 10-city tour where he's going to be doing screenings of this documentary that he's saying nobody will touch. He's out here getting the bag. I'm just so surprised that, you know, it's been taken, taken to this level of fear. But I don't know what the fear is based in. Because I don't truly, me, and I, me saying this as a person who's not trans, of course, well, of course you can say that, you know, I get it, right? I get it. I just don't see the truly hateful and vile things that he said. I was reading an article from Yahoo News, which I assume the person who was writing it was a person of the transgender community because they said we, and they were, you know, they was like including themselves in the, 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 the things that Dave Chappelle said about the community. So I'm assuming they are a part of it, right? So they brought up things with him saying the turf thing, right? Trans exclusionary radical feminist. I get that part. Because what you believe is a transgender person, that people who are turf, they want to X you out of certain spaces. They want to deny your womanhood. So Dave Chappelle proclaiming that, I can see that as you seeing that as a problem, right? To Maybe to y'all, that's like someone saying, I am a, I'm a, was it, what, uh, I'm a civil war, I'm a, I'm a confederate, whatever. Like I'm trying to X black people out of society with white people, whatever you think that is, right? If that's the level that people in trans community think that turfs are, I can understand why people would take uh, not a liking 
to someone like Dave Chappelle saying that and really bringing that to the forefront on his special. I could understand that, right? And hopefully if y'all do actually talk with Dave Chappelle, somebody actually speaks with him, it isn't like a clubhouse room. And I don't keep talking about this clubhouse shit because, like I said, they're worse than motherfuckers on Twitter. If it's like a clubhouse room where everybody's like just attacking Dave, no, no room for conversation. Because maybe Dave was ill-informed on what turf means or how people from the trans community feel about turf. That can be corrected. That can be brought up and he can learn what you feel about that word. And he may never say it again. He might, oh, okay, well, that, okay, I get that one. My bad. That, that's, that's on me. I can see how someone in your community would not like that. I, I get that. But then the other person, then they also said he also compared trans people's uh, vaginas to fake beef or fake meat. I mean, it's like, come on. Like, it is. Like, let's be honest. It is. It's fake. It's not real. No different than a girl going to get her titties done, them fake titties. She got her ass done, that's a fake ass. These dudes getting these etch sketch abs, it's fake abs. It's not real. If you have a penis and you get it turned, and I've seen the surgery. I've done the research. I've seen how the surgery works. Get it, clip it, snip it, flip it inside out. Nice little vagina for you. That's fake, regardless how you say it. It's still a fake vagina. Nothing wrong with that. It's a fake vagina. You got a fake vagina. Live your life. Who cares? If you got a guy that's waxing that fake vagina, then hey, you live in life. Or if you maybe you like, you know, you like girls and y'all doing strap-ons, whatever. Live your life. You love to do what you love to do. But, you know, Dave is, you know, he's he's putting his head out there on the chop. But also an article I was reading, and I had it pulled up that I was gonna use, but also an article they they tried to say that Dave Chappelle is a this a right wing figure now. Like they're tying that now Dave is a right wing figure. So anybody that's not all gung-ho on whatever side you're on, now you are a right-wing figure. That's the shit I be talking about. I don't like shit like that. Because I don't agree with one thing that's supposed to be mainstream, popular, super progressive. But now I'm a right-wing commentator, provocateur. I'm a right-winger now. How the fuck does that make sense? He, It's like he, he I'm praised because I blast Candace Owens. Call Ken is someone, what he called it? He called her dumb, dumbass, dumb bitch. He called her something on the George Floyd special, right? Because she came out and she read the George Floyd rap sheet, which I also spoke about, and I thought it was very distasteful. I, I, personally, I thought it was distasteful. But now, since he's, you know, making jokes about trans people and he feels a certain type of way, now he's a, he's a right-wing speaker. I think everybody's just full of shit. I wish, you know how we have these fact checkers nowadays, how we have fact checkers that like anytime somebody tweets something, anytime somebody like posts something, anytime somebody puts out some type of stat, you get it under your tweets, you get it here, you get it there, it's fact check, oh, this is wrong, or oh, this might be misleading. I need the, like to be temperature checks on outrage. Like, is this really something affecting society as a whole? Give me like a Rotten Tomato score on something that, that's a controversy that's affecting society. And we're going to talk about something else too with the AKA shit. Why, it's like, it's dumb shit. I'm, I'm just tired of dumb shit. I'm going to keep bringing dumb shit to light so people can see how dumb shit is. So then the fact that he named Hannah something was another piece of the, the outrage pie, right? Because that became a news article as well. That became a story as well. Uh, Dave attacking her. But she's way more funny than Dave. Hey, 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 brother, we don't know who the fuck this is. I, I highly doubt she's more funny than Dave Chappelle. Like, stop it. I know y'all might like her. She's a, everywhere I read, she's a cisgender lesbian. And I salute. It says she's on the spectrum. My son's on the spectrum. So I have nothing but respect for people who are on the spectrum that get to a certain level. And, you know, maybe she did feel a way about what Dave Chappelle said. But the way they're trying to, like, set these two up against each other, like, let, let's not. Now, I know Dave said something about her because she said something about Dave. But let's not try to say this person's funnier than Dave Chappelle. I started watching some of her special last night on Netflix. It's called Douglas, right? I started watching it. She's funny, but she's not Dave Chappelle funny, right? She's like a certain humor that a certain type of crowd would like. But I just think Dave Chappelle's more funny. That's, that's just my perspective, right? Um, but anyways, I wanted to really speak about why Dave Chappelle brought her up because a lot of people might not know why he brought her up. So whenever the, the CEO of Netflix came out in, in support of Dave and he did what he did, he said what he said, he brought up certain films and movies and this and that that Netflix has that were, like, were, were inclusive, right? We care about everybody. We love everybody. He brought up. Uh, I don't know what the fuck he brought. He, he brought some shows that had some do LGBTQ and other type of shows like that. But then he also brought up uh, Hannah. I think it's Hannah Gale something. She has a Netflix special called Douglas. You should go watch it if you want. You know, if you want to go and see what it's all about. But this is what she had to say in response to Ted. So she said something. And then there's another part. She wasn't done there. 
You didn't pay me nearly enough to deal with the real world consequence of the hate speech dog whistling you refused to acknowledge. Ted, she added, fuck you in your immoral algorithmic cult. I do shits with more backbones than you. That's just a joke. I definitely didn't cross the line because you don't, you told the world there is one. Like, like that's my thing. It's like, is what Dave, like, honestly, is, Dave, is what Dave Chappelle did really to the, the hate. Like, this, these words were, they were being used, right? These are the same words they were using when Trump was saying shit. Like, these are the same words you when you hear like a radical, like super, super right wing. Like, when I'm talking about right wing, I'm talking about super right wing conservative come out and say certain type of shit about black people, gay people. Tra- like, are we really lumping Dave Chappelle into that mix? And if you are, I really want you to tell me where do those things collide? Where does he get that, that 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 heat? Where? Just let me know. Now, if it's the turf thing, I've already I've said the turf thing. I can understand that. But does it really lend him to that level of that? Especially if he didn't, you know, he didn't know. He's trying to make a joke. He maybe it's a stupid joke, but he didn't know, right? Like I said, most things can be fixed with a conversation, but we're not trying to have conversations. Everybody's just trying to be seen. Everybody's trying to be heard. Everybody's trying to gain more followers, gain more likes. Are we really trying to create change? Or are we just trying to create attention? But I think we're just trying to create attention. And that's the society that we live in today. Hope you guys enjoyed that clip of the podcast, man. Make sure you subscribe on SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes. And subscribe to this channel here because you have clips. You have full video podcasts. You have everything you want here on this channel. So select one of these videos on the side to continue your journey on the channel. Hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. Peace.